It's uh, really a coincidence because I was thinking about these Magellanic clouds because of the fact that the last time I heard about this, the, uh, the astronomers calculated that they're expanding much faster than they thought originally. Now, UK space probes spot a tsunami-like starquake as a gold mine exposes Milky Way secrets. The Gay Observatory, which launched by the European Space Agency ESA, with a significant contribution from the UK, has captured the most detailed survey of the Milky Way, Milky Way galaxy, that's our galaxy. Yet, the new data revealed by the space probe shows thousands of tsunami-like starquakes, which are small movements of the star's crust similar to earthquakes. These phenomena change the spherical shape of thousands of stars and occur when the crust of a neutron star undergoes a sudden adjustment. The findings by ESA researchers are part of a massive catalog of data from objects across the universe. Scientists believe this data could revolutionize astronomy and even potentially help identify habitable corners of our galaxy. These star quakes, also known as non-radical oscillations, were an unexpected discovery, as Gaia was only designed to pick up on radial oscillations that cause stars to change their size. The UK played a crucial role in the development of the probe, with Chelmsford-based Teledyne E2V prov providing the highly sensitive photon detectors of Gaia's 1 billion pixel camera, which is the largest focal plane ever flown in space. And another firm, Airbus in Stavenag, also designed the uh, and built the elements such as Gaia's electrical service module. The team of scientists and engineers working on Gaia from UK is led by Cambridge University, supported by a total of 23 million pounds of investment from UK Space Agency and a further 2.4 million pounds from Science and Technology F uh, Faculties Council, STFC. Science Minister George Freeman said, this breakthrough by Gaia Observatory in our understanding of the galaxy we live in the evolution of stars, asteroids, and rarely seen star quakes is a major milestone for the space and astronomy community worldwide. He said the central role of UK astronomers, instrument engineers, and data scientists is a sign of our global leadership in space science and technology at the heart of our commercial 16.5 billion pound space tech sector. Connie Arts of KU Leuven in Belgium also is a member of Gaia Collaboration and said star quakes teach us a lot about stars, notably their internal workings. Gaia is opening a gold mine for astro seismology of massive stars. Aside from star quakes, the Gaia probe also gathered data on binary stars, that is, pairs of stars that revolve around each other or a common center. Their moons, around 155,000 asteroids, and numerous galaxies outside our own galaxy. Dr. Nicholas Walton, Institute of Astronomy at the University of Cambridge and member of ESA Gaia science team said, This major data released from Gaia not only allows astronomers to map the distances and motions of some 2 billion stars in our galaxy, but it also gives detailed measurements of physical and chemical makeup of the large number of those objects for the first time. And with this incredible database, we can build a comprehensive picture of the Milky Way and delve into incredible history of formation, seeing direct evidence of both violent past interactions with other galaxies, that's galaxy collisions obviously, and internal bouts of intense star formation along its spiral arms. And this new data release creates a detailed bank of information, essentially working as a DNA map that allows us to understand the stellar population of our galaxy, the Milky Way, and track its past, its present, and its future. And this is by Anthony Ashkenaz on Express UK. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. And just as a matter of, of information for you, this is the way the large and small Magellanic clouds look from the Southern Hemisphere. So the people living, for example, in Australia, if they look at the sky and this is what they see, these are, of course, the large and the small Magellanic clouds of our Milky Way galaxy. And they're expanding much faster than the scientists and the astronomers originally calculated them to be expanding.
Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.